So before we start, I just want to give a quick, quick shout out to my good, good friend, Katherine Hudson. She just recently started her YouTube channel and I would really appreciate it if you guys go over there, show her some love, like her videos, and comment that Trey sent you. She does really good covers that sound really amazing. So professional. I live for that. I live for her. So go over there and show her some love. Her channel will be linked down in the description below. <laughs> You're gonna love it because I love it. <laughs> All right, on to the video. Happy gay day. I am that gay Trey and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ooh, it's so like creepy in here. I love the vibes, lights off, red room. How you doing? I'm doing good. Welcome back. It is extremely hot in here. So I just want everybody to know, I can't turn on my air conditioning because it's gonna be really loud in the video and I just really ain't got time for that. And I can't have a fan, so. <laughs> bear with me I took off my shirt because it's like really hot in here and I just can't do it like I just can't so we're gonna try to make it through this video as best as I can without quitting here we go so this video in particular this story time dates back to years ago this is when I was in I wanna say I was in eighth grade. Mm, for the sake of this, I'll say I was in eighth grade. I want to say I don't condone, I don't condone underage drinking. I don't condone it. Don't do it, it's bad for you. But at the time, you know, I was young and dumb and I wanted, everybody else was doing it so I was gonna do it. And I was hanging out with one of my best friends so it was fine. But, this story took place at my ex-best friend's house, her apartment, per to say, which was upstairs, downstairs. And this took place at her apartment. Okay, so, so the night started out like, it was fine, it was a chill night. I went over to her house because I was actually spending the night with her that night. And her mom wasn't there because her mom normally worked nights. She was a nurse, so she wasn't there. So it was just us, you know, chilling, having a good time, girls' time. Uh, you know, it was the weekend. We were having a good time, whatever. So she invites her boyfriend over, which I don't care, girl, do you, whatever. As long as I'm not bored, as long as I got something to do, I don't care what you be doing. Like, get it how you get it. Get down. I support it. And normally I can't swear anything, y'all know. But, so she invites her boyfriend over, whatever. He gets there. This is actually my first time meeting her boyfriend, I think. I think that was my first time meeting him. And right off the bat, he seemed weird. <laughs> like, he, there was just there was just something off about him. You know how when you see somebody and like you meet them for the first time and you just like get that energy of like, something's, I don't know what it is. But something about you, sir. You're a little word. Something about you, a little word. Just a little word. I, I can't support it. So that's how he was. <laughs> it, it it honestly creeped me out a little bit the first time I met him. It was it was a little uh, uh, mm, he was a little uh. But I mean I can't judge her. The guys that I like are a bit weird too, so you know, whatever. So he ended up he ended up coming over, but it was him and his friend, which she was a girl. So it was him and his friend, me and my best friend at the time. And so we were all just hanging out, you know, chilling, whatever, watching TV, doing kids stuff, whatever. And he was actually a little bit older than us. So he was, was he 21? I don't know. He, I know he was older than us. I don't know if like, I'm not gonna say like that much older, but like he was older than us. Like he, he is the one who provided the alcohol. So he had to have been older than us or he just like snuck it like everything else, whatever. Not important to the story, but he is the one who brought the alcohol. I remember specifically that we were drinking tequila. And back then, baby, I was a lightweight and I, ooh, ooh. I remember I didn't even finish a cup. Like, I did not finish a cup. 
which is sad because like this story, like I can't remember specific things in this story. And I know I didn't drink that much because I was like, oh, this is nasty. Like, uh-uh, like, uh, uh, eh. <laughs> like, uh, like, I know that for a fact, but I still, you know, I did like two drinks, I did like two sips and I was like, I'm good, thanks. So fast forward, we're all having a good time, we're all drinking and stuff like that. Like like I said, my, my two drinks, my, my two two sips out of one cup, that that was all I had and I was already like, woo! I was like, yes! And it, <laughs> girl, like now I look back and I'm like, girl, what, what were we doing? Like, get off of that. But I, I really can't support it. But, so, I remember we were like, oh my God, we're so thirsty and like, we want some snacks. So, where she lived, there was like, which I don't know if people know, I don't think it's like still a thing, or I haven't heard of it, but there was a Houchins, like, a couple blocks over from where she lived. So, we ended up like walking to Houchins, which I don't think Houchins is a thing now. Are they discontinued? Discontinued? I don't think that's a thing. Especially for like, well, I mean, discontinued is for like products, right? They're for like products, not like buildings. Not like, uh. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I see why people think I'm dumb. I'm like really stupid. But they're like, you know, y'all know what I mean, whatever, moving on. That wasn't even important to the story. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Moving on. Um, <laughs> so we ended up started walking to Houchins from her house and we were just walking, having a good time. We ended up making it there, totally fine. Still drunk, walking, whatever. On our way back, I didn't notice because, you know, I was still wee. Whatever happens, happens, tequila. And my friend, me and my friend, we were just giggling, laughing, having a good time, whatever. So her boyfriend was the one who noticed, noticed that there was someone following us. And I ain't noticed. I wasn't paying attention. Girl, I was lit. I was ready for anything. I was like, it's a party. And so he's like, pushing us, like pushing us to like walk faster, like, you know, walk faster, get to the house, girl, get inside. And we're sitting there like, we're like, what's going on? Like he, he over here killing my bus. I'm trying to have a good time. He over here killing the bus. And he's like, you know, just get in the house. Like don't ask questions, just to get in the house. So he's rushing us to the house. We eventually did make it into the house. Me and my, me and my best friend at the time, we had no idea what was going on. And so we're just all sitting there like, what? what's wrong with you? Like, boy, you acting weird. Like, chill out. Like, take another drink. Like, what's up? And he like, he like checks the front door. He goes to the back door, make sure that's locked and run back. To the at this point, I'm like, oh, what is going on? And he looks at us and he's like, yo, somebody was following us. And I was like, what? And he was like, somebody was following us. And I was like, oh, boy, what nobody following us? Like, you stupid. But like, he was like so adamant about like, somebody was following us. And I was like, mm, I guess, like, I okay. Like, so at this point, I'm kind of like, okay, that's kind of scary. Somebody was following us, like whatever. So like, we get, when he, after he tells us that, he's like, shh, be quiet. Like, don't say anything. Like, everybody just be quiet and like, listen. So we're sitting, I'm sitting there like, girl, I don't believe none of this. You know, black people, we don't believe scary stuff like that. And if something scary does happen, we outie. Like, so I was waiting to like run or something. And they were sitting there like, you know, they white. So they were sitting there like, let's investigate. And I'm like, girl, I'm, girl, I'm about to call my mama. What you mean? So we sitting there listening. And honestly, honest to God, like, honestly, looking back, like, thinking about this story, like looking back at it, like we actually did hear stuff outside of the apartment and which was scary. And so we were just like listening. There was someone at the window in the bushes. Like we heard the bushes rustling over there. Somebody was at the window. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm drunk. I 
don't know what's happening. This is my first time drinking. What the hell? <laughs> what is happening? Somebody's at the window. And me and my friend are like holding each other. We're like, girl, what are we about to do? I'm like, I'm about to call my mama. I'm about to call 911. I'm about to call somebody. Like, somebody about to come and get me. Because I don't be doing that. I don't be playing with none of that, okay? I don't be playing with demons. <laughs> that is one thing that all y'all should know about me. I just will not play with demons. No, ma'am. Uh-uh. No, thank you. So, as this is going on, he, her boyfriend at the time, he's, like, telling us, like, shh, don't say anything. Like, be quiet. And I'm sitting here, like, I'm calling my mom. Like, I'm literally pulling out my, calling my mom. I'm calling my mom. And he ends up taking my phone away from me. Cause he's like, no, we don't need to call anybody. Like we need to like have this other, he was one of them. <laughs> he was one of them, all right? And so he's sitting here like, no, we don't need to call anybody. Like we need to handle this ourselves. Like everybody just be quiet. And this is that. All three of us, we all scared. He over here trying to be leader, trying to be, I'ma fight him, I'ma kill him. This is that. I'm trying to get out of the situation. Cause you know, black people was trying to be out of and I was trying to be out of and he wouldn't let me be out of it. Like, <laughs> we had a problem. So he ends up going to the kitchen, getting us like kitchen knives, big kitchen knives. And he's like, we're gonna defend ourselves and this and that. And I'm like, dude, what is going on? But by this time, somebody had like, somebody was jiggling the front handle of the door somebody was like jiggling the door to see if it was like locked and we're all still in the living room so i'm like <laughs> i'm like oh my god somebody's jiggling the handle he's like shh don't say anything he's like be quiet don't say anything we're sitting there like with our like not <laughs> with our like ki big kitchen i was just like <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting there like <laughs> no i'm like Ugh. And like the person ended up stopped jiggling the front door handle, went to the window, stood at the window for a second to see if he could like, or whoever could hear like if we were talking or not. And then they went all the way to the back door and started jiggling the back door handle. And I, I kid you not, it was one of the scariest things I have ever experienced. <laughs> it scarred me for life. <laughs> And that's not even the end of the story. So we ended up really scared and we ended up slowly and quietly for some reason going upstairs because it was her boyfriend's idea to go upstairs and lock ourselves in my friend's room. Now, there was four of us. Even if there was a like scary guy out there, which I'm not saying there was, but I'm not saying there's not because the doors did jiggle. I do remember that specifically. I wasn't that drunk and I know that for a fact. Like I was pretty okay at that point. Like sobered up real quick when the scary stuff started happening. Honey, I know like it was so weird to like be in that instance but we went upstairs or whatever and we're in her room doors locked we're looking out the front window and there actually was a car parked outside of her house that we had no idea who it was there was a car parked there which was also very terrifying <laughs> So there's actually a lot of blurry spots in this story that I do, for some reason, I can't recall what happened. Um, I don't know if it scared me so much that I mentally blocked it out or something happened to where like it's not allowing me to remember what happened. But there was a lot of, it was, I remember feeling really scared and I didn't have my phone because he took it from me. I honestly felt like defenseless. I didn't know what to do. It it scared me. It shook me to my core. Like I was genuinely scared that something bad was really gonna happen. Um, fast forwarding, all that stuff was happening. We were upstairs and honestly, someone was banging on either the, f it had to have been the back door because it, sound it was like faint, but like we could still hear it. So someone was banging on the back door to like get in. I don't know what you guys are gonna say. What if it was like her mom like trying to get in the house? Why she, first of all, why she ain't had no key? Second of all, why was she at the back door? Third of all, she could have called somebody. So that was not her mom, okay? 
somebody was banging on the back door. I, <laughs> my friend's about to cry. I'm sitting here like, yo, it's four of us. We can take him. Doesn't that seem possible? We have big ass kitchen knives. If we don't bum rush him, y'all, like this is why y'all die in scary movies. Like y'all don't be thinking. Like we had big ass knives. We could have easily took him. Just saying, scared and all, I would have still, boy, uh-uh, you better chill out. Just saying, call me for scary situations because I will be quick on, I be quick on my toes because I be trying not to die. Like I said, I do not mess with scary stuff. Anybody who knows me knows I don't fuck with it. So we were like, we were upstairs hearing that my friend about to scream and cry and stuff like that. I'm like, girl, shut up. Like, now is not the time. Now is the time to think rationally. Her boyfriend's still up here trying to be leader for some fucking reason. It was pissing me off. And his friend was, she was like backing him up and stuff like that. And I'm like, y'all are really dumb. Like, I, I, I felt disrespected. You know what I mean? Like, it was making me that. So, yeah. the, after that, the like beating on the door like ended which lasted for like it was like a minute and a half like it was it was it was a constant like boom 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 like it was wild and i don't remember what happened after that i remember being scared and then like after that is completely darkness like i don't know what happened to us i don't know if the guy got in, I don't know if like whatever happened. But what I do know is the next day when we woke up, we I don't remember falling asleep at all. Like it, that's a complete blur to me. I don't remember doing that at all. But when we woke up, we were all in different spots of the house. Like my best friend's boyfriend's friend, she was downstairs in the living room on the floor. She woke up on the floor. I woke up on the middle of the stairs. My best friend woke up in her room on the middle of the floor and her boyfriend woke up in the bathroom on the floor. Now, I don't know why. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> We didn't have our knives anymore for some reason. Like, I didn't have my knife on me at all, and I know I had it in my hand. It was honestly a story that, like, scares me when I think about it too much. Like, and I know, like, people are like, oh, that's, like, a coincidence or, like, that. Like, but is it, though? Is it honestly? Because, like, ugh. That's kind of weird to have that happen. We each waking up in a different spot of the house. Like, first of all, anybody who knows me knows I love to be comfortable. Like, put me in a bed at least. Like, I'm in the middle of the stairs. You know how comfortable that is, waking up to that? Like, it was just, it was just a weird experience. And that was my first time drinking. And I have never drunk so much ever since. <laughs> Cause that is, scared me for life <laughs> for life <laughs> it was wild and like I don't even I didn't tell my mom and like I went home the next day because I was like uh-uh like whatever happened dude you were cursed I was like nah I can't do it dude but I ended up going home and like uh, we were still friends after that but like not as close because girl <laughs> And the, the strange thing about it, too, was that I asked my friend about it the next day, and she seemed like she didn't know what I was talking about. Like, I had brought it up to her, and I was like, dude, the other day was, like, weird. Yeah, last night was weird. And she genuinely seemed like she had no idea what I was talking about. Like, I just made the whole thing up. I'm like, dude, no, you remember that. Because I remember that. There's no way. But anyway, that was my story about the first time that... I had gotten drunk, drunk. And I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to comment if you have, comment your favorite part, actually. Tell me what you liked about it. Do you guys like this, like, lighting, this theme that I got going on here? Like, I feel like it's cute, but I don't know. 
comment down below if you guys like this because if you like this then I'll keep doing story times like this because honestly I kind of like it I'll switch up the colors every time I do a different story I feel like it's cute but let me know how y'all feeling make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already what are you doing that's like that's like weird so subscribe and stay a while and hit the bell notification to get, to get notified every time I make a video, which will be every Wednesday. All right. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for listening to my story. I love you. Bye. Mwah.